Right then. So, today I'm going to start taking a look at the, uh, the electrical system on the mic. I don't know how well you can see the paper. Um, so, obviously, first of all, we're going to have the solar panels. So, I've got three of those. I'll draw them like this. I'll leave a little gap just to distinguish from them. I do apologise about my drawing skills, not great. Uh, each one of these is 24 cells. Each cell at maximum power point is about half a volt. So I'm going to string these together in series. So the most positive, so the positive from this cell, this panel, is going to go to the negative, it's going to go to the positive, to the negative, positive, negative, like that. Uh, so then the most negative point of all the panels is here, and the most positive point of all the panels is here. So that's for the back array. I'll, I'll talk about the front array at some, some other point. The problem with this is if I have any shading, so this part of this panel gets shaded, that's going to act as a resistance for all of it. So possibly later on I'll change it to be parallel, so all the positives will be connected together and all the negatives will be connected together. At which point, uh, say this one is completely shaded, it won't affect these other two. But we'll see, I'm gonna, obviously this is, it's all learning. Uh, I'm gonna experiment with it and, and work out what's best. Uh, so that's the panels. Panels then go into, so these are the two, this lead and this lead. So we've got the positive and the negative. Go into the charge controller, which is that ugly box. Already given up on following the squares. <laughs> so charge controller. CC is not a very good abbreviation of that because that's quite confusing with constant current, but never mind. Uh, that is the charge controller. So that takes that voltage, which is lower than my battery, which is going to be here. Uh, the voltage coming out of the panels is lower than the battery, uh, so this boosts that voltage up to match the battery voltage and obviously stops it overcharging and uh, does some other clever things. So this this um, charge controller, which I have one available somewhere around. So yeah, this uh, Genesun charge controller. Extremely expensive, but hopefully very reliable, which is what I'm hoping for. Uh, that boosts up the voltage and charges the battery. But this is a, it's a maximum power point tracking MPPT charge controller, which means the, it only draws the amount of power that is the most efficient to draw from the panels. So as the panels um, are producing power, there's a voltage which is the maximum power point, the most efficient voltage to pull power from them at. What this controller does is tries to maintain that voltage on the panel side so you get the most possible uh, power from the panels at any given moment. That's the idea. Uh, which is really good in this kind of scenario on a bike when we're going in shade and like they're not going to be perfectly angled to the sun because they're going to be flat. Um, so ideal really. This goes to the battery. Okay, and then we have a solar powered battery. From the battery, of course, we're going to go to the motor. Let's just draw it straight to the motor. This is the motor. And really, it's, it's kind of as simple as that. Obviously, we've got a controller for the motor and things, but if you really, if you really simpli simplify it, uh, this is exactly what it is. But on the uh, between the battery and the motor, I'll probably split off. So let's draw up there. Let's draw up there. So this will be running other things. So say so this is like uh, a USB charger for my phone or the. Uh, tracker. We have to have a tracker on our bikes for these uh, for the race. You'll be able to follow me online on the website of the Sun Trip. Uh, that has to be wired into the battery. And anything else that I feel like I need, I'm, I might try and wire in the drone charger. So when I'm out in the desert or somewhere really remote, I can charge up the drone. <coughs> It'll use a lot of energy, but I mean, I'm not going to win this race anyway. I'm I'm more interested in having a good time. <laughs> so I can I can afford to charge the drone on my phone and things like that. Um, so that's the basics of it. I try to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, I've probably missed something. Um, so that's this is what it looks like on paper. Hopefully now we're going to see what it looks like in reality. All right, I've got a couple of these. Uh, well, this is the solar input for the charge controller. So these are the internals internals of an MC4 connector. I've got these crimped on now. Uh, these are the solar connectors you might have seen before if you're into this kind of thing. 
Uh, this is basically the internals of this, so you have to crimp these on, but I think I'm going to try and solder them as well, because these are quite high current connectors, but there's quite, a, you know, there's going to be a fairly decent current going through these for a lot of hours, so I'd rather have a really good connection with with uh, minimal resistance to avoid creating heat in these things. Uh, I haven't done a very good job crimping them either, so <laughs> the solder might help. They're quite difficult to solder though, these things. Well, we're all soldered up. Not done a great job on the uh, the XT90 connector because these uh, I can never get these things to come in because they warp as you heat them up. But I've got the two uh, solar panel connections and this is obviously the battery connection and uh, pretty good to go. All right, I think that's about it for today. Um, hopefully, going to get the I've kind of got the electric sort of kind of done now and the start of the mechanical side of it where I attach the panels. Hopefully get the panels attached properly, add the electrics on and uh, yeah we're nearly there, nearly ready for a test drive which will be interesting to say the least. So thanks for watching again and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.